everybody, and welcome to Sidewalk Chalk. Today is Valentine's Day. If you're watching this not on Valentine's Day, then it today was Valentine's Day. Today I'm going to be doing some Valentine's Day games uh, that I found on GamesGames.com. These games are ridiculously awful, and I thought it would just be kind of fun to play them. So I've played a couple of them, kind of looking around to see what I'm going to do. And we are going to start with the perfect poo couple. Hmm. Alrighty, we've got some pretty funky music. And as you can tell, I've, I have played it, but I'll start with level one. So your goal is to get the poos together. You want Mr. Pooh and Mrs. Pooh to be together. And so you gotta do this little obstacle course to get her. That's it, that's, that's it. So we're gonna just play this for a little while. You press Z to fly. All right. Oh, I did it. a little rough, but we did it. <laughs> I almost missed. And I found my poo love. So this really is all of this game has to offer. Uh, you're Mr. Pooh and you're trying to find your Mrs. Pooh. And she gets really happy when you do. Boop. Blah. Blind leap of faith right there, but it worked. Alright, how do we get to our Mrs. Pooh? So you want to try to get these hearts. Because... They uh, are what gives you points for the level. So you kinda gotta bounce around a little bit, which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. This one has fire. I haven't done this level yet. Oh my goodness, why did I turn into feathers? I thought I was poop. Let's do that again, I want you guys to see. Oh, I missed it. When you get the fire on you, you turn into feathers. Ah! How do I get to her? Ah! ah. I'm glad she catches me. She really is falling in love. <laughs> oh, I turned into feathers. Also, it looks kind of like there's feathers and flowers falling in the back. No! Ah. Well, I say that's enough of a poo, perfect poo couple. Let's see what else there is to this Valentine's Day. Let's see. Let's look at this one. Adam and Eve 3. That implies there's been an Adam and Eve 1 and 2. And there's been 42 players. Let's check out the comments first. Oh, there's no comments on this either? Come on, guys. You need to let me know what I'm playing before I play it. Alright. It's a clicky game. You have to click on things. So I think that's Cleopatra. Valentine. Well, let's go check it out. Go. Go out the door. It, it, it's open, little caveman. Oh, there you go. Egg. Oh, the bird flew away. Drop that.
Okay. There's a hammer. Let's smash the egg with a hammer. That seems like a good idea. Oh, it can fly away that way. Alright, let's get out of here. That was weird. To fly. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, but the spider won't go because of that and that. What? Oh, there's a little love bug in there. Is he gonna go get her? Yep, yep. All right. I'm gonna let the fly get caught. Oh, and that's a bat. Wow, that's a really big fly. That was easy. Do 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 do. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Pterodactyl Man. Okay. that on go over here oh yeah oh hey are you my valentine oh this shape a triangle and eating food eating food Oh. Guess you're not my Valentine. Thanks for the clues, though. Do do do. Fly away. Okay. So we want this key. Can I unlock that? Goodbye, Mr. Turtle. No? Well, let's throw an apple. Mr. Turtle! There we go. Are you gonna go get your turtle? Your turtle ran away. Yeah! Nope. Up. Not sure what this has to do with Valentine's Day yet. I will let you know as soon as I've figured it out, though. Oh, there we go. I know I got a Valentine. Maybe it, it was a secret clue to find my valentine. Ah. Oh, planted a flower for that guy. And he gave me some food for the bird. Oh, thank you. Now I can cut down the tree. Okay, what is it? That way. You don't have to yell at me every time I ask. Alright. That's what I did, right? Oh, it opened the door. I thought I had to climb up. Hi, sir. Oh, you would like a fire. Well, let's put some wood. Okay. Fire! There you go, other caveman bro. Bye! That is a very big spider. That spider is huge. Cheese? Mouse. Spider, go get mouse. Smash spider with a hammer. No? Oh, just put spider in a container. Bye! Got to help. Nope, that wasn't there before. Hey, go, monkey. I have banana for you. Woo! We're 
my monkey friend? Dude, I was just in here! What did you do? <sighs> well, I guess I'll clean your house for you. It's really rude to ask somebody, a complete stranger, to clean your house for you. Like, oh, I won't let you get through until my house is clean. Rude. Uh, I can't sweep. What else has to be done? Look, lady, if you're gonna be picky. Oh, your flower's knocked over. Now I can sweep your house for you. Can I go now? Thanks. Okay, that seems kind of silly. Oh, now going. Okay, she's sick. Give her some medicines. Nope, that didn't help. What other medicines can I give you? It turns the volume off. Okay, now sing to her. Oh, and she's magically all together. Why did I... Why did I have to do that for you? People have really advanced locks for their houses. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. Oh, nighttime puts Venus flytraps to sleep. I didn't know that, but now I do. Oh, hey. Oh, now I'm a ghost. Roar! Wow, that actually worked. They were actually afraid of me. Oh, I found my valentine and made all kinds of hearts. Hmm. Well, that was a game. I won't say what kind of game it was, but it was a game. This one looks rough. Valentine's Day kissing contest injury? Who names these games? Did anybody comment? No, nobody commented. Ah. Who names these games? Right? Okay, play. Okay, funky music. Oh, it's him. Are you up for today's kissing contest? Of course, I can't wait. See ya there, him. Him doesn't have a name. Oh. Oh my. What just happened? Oh, we gotta go to the pharmacy and find these items. Okay, well, there's those. Um. What could that be? Can you just click on everything? Oh, it shows you a hint. Oh, you can open those. That's nice to know. Anything we need in here? No, oh, I found the pliers. And the band-aids. Okay. Now we need weird container. That? No. That container. No, not that either.
For some reason, we need yarn. Okay, what is this thing? No. Oh, there it is. I don't know what that is. Alright, now we're going to the emergency room. Oh, now I'm a doctor. Okay. So, we're gonna... What do we do? Shave your hair. Oh my good lord. Jesus, who knew kissing was so dangerous? That's the lesson of today, kids. On Valentine's Day, don't kiss, or you'll look like this guy. Oh, gosh. I'm not really certified to do this. I hope you all know that. Oh, I understand now. Well, I can finally tell my mom I'm a doctor. She'll be very proud of me. Who made this game? That's my question, is who makes these games? Boom. Okay, you're stitched up. Now let's... Wrap your head up. Okay. No, you're not done. I think you are. There's no more, there's no more, there's nowhere else to put the bandage. There's really nowhere else to put this bandage. I don't, I may not be an actual doctor, but I'm pretty sure his head is covered. All right, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore because this is silly. This game, that man can be unconscious. <laughs> Valentine's Day, Chainsaw Massacre. That is what we're gonna play right now. Fifteen people have played it, and again, nobody's commented on it. Hello, my friends. I have a tale to share with you all. So it was Valentine's Day, right? I was just taking my girlfriend shopping. When we went to the mall, she said she had a surprise for me. She got me the 4700 Super Carburetor Chainsaw I always wanted. Weird Valentine's gift, huh? But nice nonetheless. All I got her was a box of chocolate, the flower on the necklace I stole from my neighbor. <laughs> now, normally this would be more than enough for me to kiss her, but out of nowhere, an army of police just burst into the mall, led by some jackpot who calls himself a teenager. Ah, ah, I'm a bad major, and I, I'm going to do something like, like a bad. What have I found? Crap, who am I supposed to kiss now? You'll pay for this. And just as I was about to cut him up with my chainsaw, that rooster hung up with a sprint gun and threw my butt in the snowy mountain display. But that idiot also shot some of his henchmen. One of them dropped a gun on the highest peak. Use left and right arrows to move. Use S and D to kick and punch things. Use the up arrow to jump. Use S or D keys to attack the enemy. Okay. Oh, he's not dead. Ah! I'm supposed to chainsaw him. Oh. Press A to cut the metal bar. Okay. Oh, there we go.
ridiculously long there. Oh, uh, I died. We can try again. They have a lot of health. All right. Okay. Ah! Why is he... T I'm gonna die right now, aren't I? I wish I knew how much health they had. Valentine's Day game. Who am I gonna kiss now? <laughs> Boom. Take that, man. Press A. Oh, okay. Music changed. Yep, there's a bad guy. These kind of look like weird Yeti things. Oh. Heaven forbid I fight two bad guys at once. You must wait until one bad guy is dead. Really long strides. Level cleared. Well, that was interesting. We'll do one more level. Starts over again, that's cool. I like how he sticks his tongue out every time he's coming at me. Look at it, Oh, now he's not gonna do it. There you go, his tongue's out. What these black hearts are. Maybe they're points to get a new girlfriend to kiss. Oh, there's the two bad guys to fight at once. But it's pretty simple because I just hit one and I'm, I'm, I'm hitting them both. I bet you I'd even be able to chainsaw them both at the same time. Oh, yep, ready? Boom. Oh no, gotta do one at a time. Oh, this is moving. Why are these hearts black? Does that imply I have a black heart? Ah! Wait, am I supposed to-
this a jump? Yep, okay. Ah! There we go. Honestly, this is just button mashing. There's no... Well, now that I'm getting my butt kicked. It's just kind of like, stay out of... Don't get hit, and just press, press S a lot. appears right after I make him the other one unconscious. This is a weird glitch that I've encountered twice. Why did they just pop up after I'm done? Blind falling. This might be the guy that fell. They can really take a pounding. Jeez. Friend was able to give you something useful. Okay. Can we talk about how I'm floating? There's nothing there, but I'm floating. But I can't jump onto the box. I wonder if I. Somebody forgot to animate the box. And the image. Whoa. Well, that was a crazy jump. Probably the wrong way to kick that. Oh, maybe I'm just going up here. Why did you make me fall all the way down if you were just going to send me back up? Where am I going? shaped and I don't know I guess I shouldn't comment too much on someone else's art but it's still I, I disapprove just adds to the element of the game I suppose oh there's music there's the bad guy oh no oh after I shot myself with that stupid street gun of theirs I became normal size again climbed out of the mountain display only to the detonator wasn't there but he sure left a lot of his henchmen behind I have to kill 12 enemies to advance.
use your chainsaw on them if they're dazed. Because somehow they have the strength to, like, block a chainsaw. Well, two down, ten to go. Alright, let's take this escalator. Be prepared for anything. Sorry, we're open. them all over the screen. Oops, a little too far. Come inside and take a look, we have absolutely nothing. have played this game. I wish it said how long those 15 people played the game. Like, did they... did they go all the way to the end? Did they do the first level? Did they make it past the first cutscene? Like, what... how far in this game did they go? Okay, that was 12. Lord in the final Hitchman at the mall. I grabbed him by his neck and forced a conversation out of his throat. After that, I remembered that I needed to ask him where the Ted Mater hideout was. Uh, you have to take I-35 I south. Take the evil exit 27. Take a right, go half a mile, and take it to Teddy Street. Take a left and go 0.3 miles north. It's the giant building shaped like my- Marble! So I took I-35 South, took the evil exit 27, took a right, went half a mile to Teddy Street. I almost went point four miles north, but I backed up and took a left. Turns out he lied to me. It was just like his friend Marbles! So it came- Well that is enough of that. I, for one day, I suppose. Maybe we'll revisit it. Probably not, though. That was pretty bad. So, happy Valentine's Day to all of my chalkers. It's so great that you guys are watching my video today instead of spending time with your loved one. To those of you who don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, thanks for watching my video anyways. Everybody needs to show me their colors. Like, comment, subscribe, watch all of my videos before you go to bed, and chalk on! Bye!